Hello, it's me Robin with Simple Food, Simple Life. Today we're going to get in the kitchen and I'm going to attempt to make some soup. <laughs> I'm going to try to make some soup out of what I have. Um, I went downstairs to my pantry and um, I thought, you know, let's just choose a few things and, and see what happens. Now, the impetus for this is that I have some bone broth. It's not that much, but I have some bone broth from chicken that I need to use up. So we're going to add some things to that and use up some of my carrots and celery and let's see what we can do. Thanks for joining me today. I'm glad to see you. Hey, listen. If you want, like, subscribe, and share. Because everybody needs to know this stuff. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll hopefully always be notified when I post a new segment of Simple Food, Simple Life. And one more thing, um, be sure and comment. I like your comments. Be, be nice, not naughty. And um, I try to respond to all the comments. Lately, I've seen some comments that come up way late. And I'm thinking, well, where was that? So even if it's late, I do try to comment back because I enjoy your comments, I enjoy your input, and um, you really don't know how helpful you are to me sometimes, and I love your stories. I really do. We all have a story, and we all have a food memory and food stories, so be sure and share those with me because I enjoy reading every single one of them. Okay, all right. Let's let me show you what I'm going to attempt to do here. <laughs> uh, like I said earlier, the impetus for this was some bone broth that I had made out of chicken, and I don't have very much bone broth because I didn't have very many bones, and so. But uh, this is what I have. I haven't used any of this. Now, let me open this up. I'm going to show it to you. This was some uh, bones and scraps that I had out that I made the bone broth out of some paprika chicken that I made thus the red color and you see the fat on the top I'm going to scrape that off I'm not going to waste it but I am going to scrape it off and you can see how nice and gelatinous this bone broth is um, so and frankly I did this in my pressure cooker so it didn't take very long um, I have a small stovetop pressure cooker, so I didn't have to haul uh, hold out my big canner. Anyway, I'm going to try to use this, but there's not much there, and I'm going to make some soup. Did I tell you I'm going to try to make soup? I did I? I don't know. Okay, so that's the the primary reason for this. Now, I have so I I went down in my pantry down in the, my pantry is actually in the basement. So I went down there and I looked around for what I could add to this delicious, nutritious bone broth. And I found, I found a can of stewed tomatoes. And I had to have gotten these on sale. Um, they come from uh, my local Fairway store. Fairway, I don't know if Fairway's um, just mostly in Iowa. I really don't know, but it's a very nice store. They carry out your groceries and bag them for you. Oh, it's awesome. And they have a wonderful meat department. So I do have some stewed tomatoes. Now, what are in stewed tomatoes? Um, it's tomatoes, uh, tomato juice. There's sugar, sea salt, dehydrated onions, dehydrated celery, dehydrated peppers, spices, etc. 
So that's the difference between just a can of tomatoes and a stewed tomato. So when you see a stewed tomato, be aware that it has other ingredients, but I want these other ingredients for flavor. I found a can of Great Northern Beans because of the brand. I know they come from uh, Aldi. Is it Aldi or Aldi's? I don't know. I'm going to say Aldi. So that comes from Aldi. This is like 49 cents. Uh, 59, 59 or 49, I don't know. I think the prices went up on the beans and all the. I've got an onion uh, because I'm trying to work on using up some of the onions I have downstairs. I have um, a partial bag of carrots, so I want to use those up. And look, they're start, they're starting to root up, starting to put down roots in my refrigerator. <laughs> All right, got that. I've got uh, some celery left. So I'm going to be sure and use some of that. you got to love celery and soup. It's delicious. And I have a few green onions. They look a little, a little sad. And you're saying, put me in a soup. So I'm going to put them in a soup. And I've got, um, now... I've got some dehydrated zucchini and tomato. I dehydrated this myself last summer or fall. And um, these are some of the last of the tomatoes that I grew. And here's the zucchini. Now, I'm kind of in a quandary. I am definitely going to use the zucchini, but I don't know if I'm going to use the, the dried tomatoes or not. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it thinking about maybe doing something else with these but we shall see either way the zucchini will be really delicious and it's going to add some nutrition to our soup uh, I've got some um, some of my favorite Goya chicken flavored bouillon this is the powder I get this at Dollar Tree there's um, eight packets in here I love this stuff and I like it because it's the powder instead of a like a little chunky square. Boopy doop. Okay. And so um, I'm going to incorporate some of that for extra flavor, but also uh, so that I can also add extra liquid because I'm using some dehydrated zucchini. That takes up more liquid. And I found these um, large rings. Um in the pantry. Now, I know these had to be on sale because I would not normally have bought these if they had not been. So, um, I'm going to incorporate some of these to kind of bulk up uh, the soup a little bit. So that's basically pretty much all that's going in the soup. And we'll see what we get from that. Um, I think it's going to be really good. It's going to be uh, um, hearty hearty it's going to be hearty me buckos and it's, and it's going to be it's going to be rib sticking it's going to stick to your ribs and make you know that you had something to eat here bucko okay all right <laughs> i'm getting a little bit crazy all right so oh and I have a little oil because you know we gotta saute those beige towels all right all right so, I'm going to start chopping here, and uh, let's see what we get. Alright, I got my chopping done, and I'm going to show you what I have. I chopped the celery. I'm using the whole onion. This is uh, four um, green onions chopped. The carrots are chopped. Okay? So that's the basis of the vegetables, and, 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 and... I did um, the zucchini. I'm not going to use the dehydrated tomato. I'm going to use the zucchini. Now, these are rather thin. If I dehydrate zucchini again, I will not make them quite as thin because they're pretty papery. But it's going to be fine. Um, and I did taste these because if I remembered correctly, I salted them. Uh, with some kosher salt before I dehydrated them, so it's a good thing I tasted them. Now, 
If you have never eaten dehydrated vegetables, just plain dehydrated vegetables like this, mm, they're delicious. You just eat them dry. Uh, they make a really great snack. But I will tell you ahead of time, dehydrated carrots can get very hard to the tooth, so you may not want to eat those. And look, I keep this in my cabinet. These are dehydrated vegetables that I, um, one of them is purchased, the other ones I dehydrated myself. The wasabi beans, they are purchased, but this is a snack for me. And if you've never had dried corn, it's awesome. <laughs> Those The wasabis are, uh, actually, these are um, soybeans that have a wasabi flavoring on them. These are beans. I have some beans in there that I dehydrated, which are these chickpeas. I did them in the dehydrator after they're cooked, of course, but if you have never eaten dehydrated corn, you're missing out because it's really good. I keep this in my, my cabinet for a snack. I just put some in a little bowl and sit down and eat them with a nice cool drink. And they are awesome. If you've never tried them, you should try them. You're going to get a lot of nutrition in. It's amazing how many you can eat. You can actually get your vegetables in for the day that way. Okay? Okay. I'm just saying. They're good. All right. And I was thinking about it. I thought, you know what? It's a shame to waste this um, chicken broth or this chicken fat. So I'm going to scrape a little chicken fat off here. I don't know. I might use it all. And I'm going to saute my vegetables in it. Because that's full of flavor. Uh, this has garlic. Um, it's got um, paprika. It's got some good, good flavor in there. So why waste that? So I'm going to use that. Now, it might be a little bit splattery because it's going to have some of the bone broth in there. But we're going to, we're going to risk it. Okay. So... Mmm, smells nice. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Put my chopped vegetables in there. I'm putting them all in. Now, there's a total of three carrots here. Uh, so I actually have carrots left out of that package, which I think I'm going to clean them and cut them up and use them for a snack because I love carrots. And I love raw carrots, and I, that's why I buy them by the two-pound pack, packages, because I go through a lot of carrots. <clears throat> so I'm glad, very glad that I tasted the zucchini. It is, yes, it is salty. So then I can know that there is going to be some salt that comes off of that. And I'm going to put my zucchini in there, too. So that it gets a little bit of a head start. This won't take long to rehydrate because honestly, it, they're very thin. I think uh, when I do it next time, I will not make them this thin because they're papery. But they're tasty. And the reason I put salt on them was in case I wanted them for a little, little bit of a snack. Now, I've got my uh, beans. I've got my beans drained and rinsed. So... Uh, they're ready to go and got my tomatoes open got my my large ring pasta measured out I have to tell you I've never used large ring pasta I've never used that pasta never so but you know what it reminded me of it reminded me of spaghettios my late husband loves spaghettios I tell you yes that was like his Saturday lunch when he was off work. He'd grab some SpaghettiOs and bread and butter and he 
he's good to go. All right. Let's do some more in here. I'm not going to pour it all. I'm just going to do a little bit. See, there's not that much of the bone broth, but there's a lot of nutrition in there. I want to get these sautéed. Oh, it smells awesome. This isn't really going to be necessarily a spicy soup, although I decided I was going to go with some garlic. And I'm going to put some, some basil in there because, um, and this is some basil that I grew. I think there might be some Thai basil in there mixed in, which I reused this bottle for. Turn it down a little bit. I'm going to go with some pepper on this. And I'm going to wait on salt until I can kind of taste this. We could probably use some salt to sweat out those vegetables. Just a little bit more. Okay. A little more of this. Good old bone broth in there, which really goes to show you you don't need that many ingredients to make a nice bone broth. Now look, you see how the the um, see how the the zucchini is cooking up. It's rehydrating, and it's not that big. It looked like a lot, but it wasn't. All right, I'm going to put some garlic in here. And you know what? This is just a, a um, pantry soup. If you want to measure your spices, if you feel more comfortable with that, go ahead. I just don't feel the need to in cases like this when I'm cooking this kind of food. You can smell it. You can taste it. Now I'm going to add the tomatoes. Now, most of the time, stewed tomatoes come like this. I should have probably crushed them, but that's all right. I'll just do it with my spoon. I like the rustic look of stewed tomatoes. I think they they just look wonderful. So, I'll smoosh them. I'll smoosh them as I go, and they'll cook up a little bit too. Just keep an eye on your heat. I don't know. That looks good enough to eat already. Let's see. Oh, delicious. I'm going to put a little more salt in there. Turn the heat down. And I want to add my beans. I thought about, instead of doing pasta, I thought about doing rice. Putting rice in there, but then I thought, you know, I don't think I want to do rice. I think I just want to do, use this pasta and see what it's like. Doesn't that look good? Vlogs party, yummy! Alright, bring that back up to heat. Let them all kind of incorporate there. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's tasty. I love the addition of the basil in there. I think that you will like that if you give it a try. Um, oh, that's awesome. This is really going to be good. Okay. Now, I'm going to add my, my uh, bone broth. Now, you can see there's some left in there because it's pretty rich. I'm going to turn the heat down. I'm going to add some water to this bowl so that I can get the rest of it. Because, you know, we don't want to waste what's in there. 
And this is also going to cook down a little bit. Okay? Now, I've got my powdered chicken broth here. Like I said, I love this stuff. If you, if you are at Dollar Tree and you see this, grab a couple of packs, boxes of it. Because it's very tasty. And you will love the convenience of the powder rather than a cube. Now I'm going to add the rest of that water. And remember, the can of tomatoes were canned in tomato juice. And they also had those peppers and onions and good things in there. So, if you see a tomato piece that's too big and you haven't crushed them, just go ahead and use your spoon. Now, you can see, you see there's some little fat on there. I don't care about that. That adds richness to my soup. I'm fine with it. If you don't like it, that's you can do whatever you want. You can remove it, but honestly, I see no need. All right, I'm going to let this cook a bit before I add these. Now, normally, if I add pasta to soup, I cook the pasta and then drain it, rinse it, and add it to the soup because I don't want it to thicken the soup. This time, just for the heck of it, because these are small, even though they say large rings, I'm going to take a chance, it's only half a cup, and I'm going to add it to the soup, and let's see how much it it pulls up the moisture. If it if it takes up too much of the soupiness, I have my, my powdered bouillon, and we will just add some more of that. Okay. Let's let this cook. I'm going to bring it to a simmer. I'm going to put a lid on it, let it simmer for, oh, let's say 20 minutes. And we'll come back and we will add our large rings. All right, my soup has been simmering for 20 minutes. And I did test to make sure that the carrots were done because that's really the most important thing. They are the hardest vegetable in there. And so now I'm going to bring it up to a boil and I'm going to add the large pasta rings. They don't look very large, do they? So we'll see how much they expand. This is about a half a cup. So I'm going to put that in there. Bring it up to a boil. I don't want the pasta to overtake the soup. <clears throat> and just so you know, I did put a couple of, uh, I put two more cups of water in there. And I tasted it, so it tastes very nice, very strong. Now, it says that I should cook this pasta for seven minutes. I'm going to set my timer. Seven minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like because then it's going to be done. Okie doke, our pasta is done. So let's take a taste. Get out my label here. I'm going to just put a little bit in a dish because I want to taste it. I'm sure it's done, but See what that looks like? Let's see if I can show you the pasta. You see the pasta? It's nicely done. Let's put a little bit in my little dish here. See that? It's large rings. I wonder what the small rings look like. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Very hot. Oh, wow, that's really good. Mm. See, you can make pantry soup too. Just look in your pantry and see what you can use. Mmm, oh my, that's awesome. All right, there's 
pantry soup because I don't know what else to call it. Now, I'm going to store the pantry soup in some empty canning jars that I have here. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to set some aside for my lunch. And then I'm going to put some in these jars and we'll see how many, how much we get out of this that's left, okay? All right, listen. I love you. If I can do this, you can certainly do this, okay? I know you can. Just look in your pantry. Make a pantry meal. Make a pantry soup. Sometimes we, we um, are stymied. We look around and we think we don't have much, but perhaps you have more than you think you do, okay? So you just remember that I love you. I have faith in you. I know that you can do this because if I can, you can. And as always, little is much when God is in it. Okay? I love you. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to come back and join me. Bye-bye.